dear viewers today we are going to look at hands on practices for the software draw.io it is an open source drawing software this helps for primarily scientific drawing white papers presentation and for any of the presentations using prezi canva or you can even use powerpoint project report presentation documentation practices patterns research writing thesis writing and dissertations it has numerous features numerous shapes several icons primarily draw.io is useful for software professionals even for other professionals it helps a lot in terms of drawing and downloading it as an image or pdf file so we can use it across any of our materials and resources let us step into the hands on practices how we can handle this software for drawing as per our requirement just step into google search engine type draw.io enter so it is loading the software is loading it will ask you with a google drive create a new diagram or open existing diagram with which of the mail id you wish to use i wish to draw a new diagram create new year new diagram so now the source file draw.io always you try to retain if there is any changes need to be done in the near future you can use this source file for editing this is editable file now let us see video demo i'm keeping the name of the file video demo draw.io so please remember this source file always you need to maintain then subsequently in the need of revision you can come back and edit it and you can download it as an image file or pdf file so that is the reason we need to maintain the source file draw.io now look at if you are preparing an article related to networking maths or flow charts or engineering cloud business practices or basic or uml or venn diagram wireframes any other layouts or if you wish to prepare tables you can look at here numerous flow chart or kanban board or entity relationship diagram organizational chart sequence diagram this one of the object oriented programming practices you may need to use this kind of charts now let us stick to the blank diagram so now i for the demonstration purpose i am showing blank diagram so pick a folder i don't have any folder root folder or else you can choose a folder where you are choosing it as a destination folder that is your choice merely yes now it is creating so once if the folder is done video demo dot draw i go inserting now create that's it so once if you have decided what is the destination folder what diagram you want to pick blank or existing templates you need to take decision just look at go through this file video view arrange it stores help these are all the tabs you may need to work on if you look at here all the customizing icons or template or palette would be here if these are all the basic shapes scratch pad or general arrows actors and if you hover near to that symbol it will display what it meant for if you look at this is vertical container horizontal container it is a container it is a kind of item of a uh, list of items and miscellaneous just click miscellaneous it will load plenty of other symbols for mechanical gear representation you can use such kind of symbols that is your choice advanced symbols you can look at there are plenty of advanced symbols exist basic symbols exist then tick mark cross whatsoever you wish loud call out whatsoever you wish or banner preparation you can keep using then all other types of arrows other than the basic arrows then flow chart 
then entity relational diagrams. Then you can go to UML. More shapes beyond that you can explore with the more shapes. So just look around, what are the shapes you are in need? Beyond that, this, this is the search button. You can use it for searching several shapes or icons that are all not editable. Whichever display or these are all editable. You can edit or customize a color, anything. Let us start with one of the diagram to uh, demonstrate right in this session. So look at here. Now just process. I'm just choosing a process. Now look at, you can further customize either horizontally or vertically. Use this all the point representations. Then look at the color change you can do and the line thickness or line pattern. You can choose a dashed pattern or you can choose any other pattern thickness. So now two point I'm giving instead, uh, let me use the thick line, solid line rather than any other pattern. So glass model, rounded model. I don't want glass model, rounded model. Shadow, it may create a shadow if you don't want sketch. So if you look at the internal pattern change, you can do whichever you want. Just type in the middle. So now, what is the process we are going to do? Now, drawing is a process we are learning. So just drawing, select that bold, apply bold, or it is a heading. Then whatever you wish to change, the font style. So whichever the font you like, you can change it. And even you can change the color and any mathematical symbols, you can use this palette, subset, superscript, and you can use italic, and you can use this or just explore font color. I wish to use the blue color one, and this is the representation. Background, I don't want to change, already have chosen. Instead of this, if you wish to change any other line color, you can change, that's it. So now simple one block diagram with the editable text, we are done. Now you can connect with drawing this actor. So now I'm keeping one of the actor, next actor. So who are all the members can use this software for their drawing purposes. So already we have seen it is useful for so many other purposes. Now let us look at this actor. Let us change this actor name. This actor, if you wish to change, you can change delete, then the arrow. Now I'm trying to change this actor name. Actor name by, I want to change it to a student or change it to um, professionals or scientific professionals. So you can change each of the actor to become different edit style. So further, whichever the style you want this stick figure, you can change the color of this stick figure or actor. This color, further you can change it into any of the color. Maroon I have chosen. Now you can change this actor into any other color. So now this one, or you can change this into orange or yellow color. Now it is done. So now you can edit data. So any of the ID property name you can give if you wish to edit a data. But now for simplicity, I'm using some of these. There is no purpose in um, drawing right in front of you. Now we need to move further, delete this actor, delete this actor. Uh, further, we can edit this paper size. You can set portrait or landscape. You can set, you can change the background of this. Now there is no background, grid and plain background I am using. So now go to this actor. Now background resize with all other features. I'm exploring all other features. You can also try exploring using this all. Now text. So instead of this text font color, I want to change it into different font color actor. Now font color, I want to change it into yellow color. So you can keep changing.
So just over students can use now let me change the color so that it will be visible to you students choose this students there are double t now right students i can change it into blue color now increase the font size Similarly, you can change this actor by any other professionals. All right. Now, if I want to search any of the symbol, now for example, professionals, professionals. So it shows professionals something. Next, I want to use researchers researchers i'm searching for the symbol to represent researchers nothing is available for example i'm searching math math related symbols it will give any of the math related symbols easily you can pick and decorate similarly physics related symbols you can use any of the physics related items just type or which item you are interested for you can do now this also you can change the color. So now you can change the background color with this. Sometimes it will allow you to edit, sometimes it will not allow you to edit. So now you need to decide if it allows you to edit, you can edit. Otherwise, it may not be possible for editing. That's it. So now fill. Let us choose the fill color. Now pink color so this fills the background so it is not allowing any other color for the editing border you can use dotted pattern whichever the pattern you like you can choose that's it so here you can choose any of the domain related symbols so chemistry related symbols now you can bring chemistry next electrical electrical symbols electronics Electrical, just type electrical and electronics. It brings some latches, some gates, some diodes. It brings electronics. It may bring the same. So electronics, it brings photoresistor and it brings diodes. So you can connect. That's it. Once the basic symbols are ready, you can try with. There are plenty of arrow marks available. Arrow with the label. RO with the source label and the target, RO connector with the symbol and the connector with the label and the link. So you can use any of this arrow. Similarly, just to represent gear, you can use this symbol. Now connect whichever the way you want. Now this is the arrow I'm using. Now I am using scientific drawing. I'm using to represent this. So you can just connect. Now, sometimes this free diagram, if you use, it will give the free flowing diagram. You may need to change the directions and the source to the destination. So now I'm changing. So it is a folding like a structure. You can unfold further and you can strike changing. So it is a kind of non-linear pattern. If you like this non-linear pattern, you can bring in. Otherwise, just leave it. So these are all some of the features I wanted to explain. Now let us see how to include some other image. How can I include already available image? So now go to arrange, insert the image which I have shown just before the starting of the session. I'm going to bring, see, just go to arrange. After arrange, insert. From the insert, choose image then open so it is not available mind map brainstorm brainstorm whiteboard i have created already actual size so the image which i have built already have been brought here it has been brought any number of images you can bring you can bring this has been brought here you can keep resizing or you can keep 
whatever the size you wish. This is one of the feature. Now let us see another feature. Now I am just clicking, then it is drawing. Now what else we can do? So I'm going to show one more feature that is inserting a table. So now you can represent any of the data point in your diagram. So now instead of this dotted line, I want the solid line. The color I want it for pink color, whatever the color you want, you can choose. So some of the facts you can represent, for example, accuracy you can represent. Then you can represent F1 score. You can tabulate whatever the result you have obtained. So further you can adjust this table easily. So there is no need of um, changing anything. So instead you can keep changing the font size. So the font size of this, so text, you can reduce the font size so that you can fit in. Now accuracy became lesser in size. Now further, I'm reducing F1 score. So what is the validation matrices you wanted to do? Now, if you look at this fill color, I don't want any fill color. So now just clicking the row and clicking this, it becomes the pattern or the color, whichever you like. So now you can edit 78, 89, so each cell may represent the value or the score. So now entirely you can represent it into whichever the color you want. You can resize, adjust the way you want. You can design your thing. Just a practice, that's it. So control Z, always you can use it for resizing. Now grid, background change. So this, change it. Now line color, which line color you wish to represent, you can do. So just you can edit it using these or all the palette. Primarily, you should know how to search the new shapes. And secondarily, what are all the basic shapes available? And how to customize your drawing or your shapes? See, more shapes, just click more shapes. See, Android related representations, active directories, Atlassian. So now you can look at mockups, IOS, AWS, 18, 17, 19, Cisco, Cloud Enterprise, Azure Cloud, whatever, Google Cloud Platform, IBM, Kubernetes, Network, all the network related symbols would be available. Any sort of researcher, VMware, easily they can plug and play these symbols in their scientific drawing or report preparation or project presentation, documentation. It provides plenty of infographics as well, material design, fluid power, floor plans for civil engineers, electrical and threat modeling. So these are all web icons, signs. So these are all the symbols you should know. Primarily, I summarize all these tabs you should know, the raw file maintenance you should know, all the basic shapes, more shapes, within the basic shape itself, plenty are available, entity relation, UML. I'm just uh, spanning in, instead of spanning out, I'm spanning in. So now look at here, basic arrows like this, all advanced and miscellaneous, Oh, so many are general. So these are all available. Now I'm closing this, that's all. Initially you will have these all general. You can keep expanding with this arrow key. Then it will expand with the rest of uh, other features. More shapes you can go for knowing the available other shapes and you can pick the relevant. And this is the customizable palette. Then further you can go for inserting this uh, table representation. Just fill color then line color here also you will have a lot of formatting tools this is also formatting tools so now you can use any of the formatting tools for your decorations if you go to arrange it will give some navigational point insert inserting text so now if you wish to insert any of the text look at here now the text is free text has come so i'm maximizing or 
increasing the font size now you can use any of the formatting tools so these are all the formatting tools available for increasing or customizing your work so this formatting tool further you can change it into white color so that's it so this one formatting line color fill color you can make it to become white that's all so you can further change the text font color background color of oh, the focus is here so that is a reason now i need to give here background color something pink color that's it formatting tools so these are all called formatting tools or provisions arrange you should remember for inserting the text or inserting the image these two are the additional features you should know free text inclusion and any of the available image to draw to your document so these two features you should know all right with that let us meet again in one hour, one more video before that let me show you how to download go to this file menu and export as png with high resolution jpg with the compressed version little the resolution will go down and pdf any of the file just click png now it asks you size diagram with the shadow with the transparent background what do you want transparent it will show only the drawn items nothing else it will show just export so click export where you want to so download that's all there are several uh, cloud platforms it shows google drive cloud platform one drive dropbox github these are all the cloud platforms uh, shows device so i have chosen device it comes in the form of png i just double click you can able to notice it is it is trying to open so now let us see this is the diagram so finally we have downloaded in the png format whichever the form whichever the presentation medium you can just include this diagram that's it now how to share with others share click share file click on the share it will take you to google drive so then once if you reach the google drive the usual method of sharing this file you need to do share with anyone or limited within your organization or share with view mode or comment mode or with the edit mode so now you need to decide share so now open google drive it is available on the google drive so now draw dot io it is opening on the google drive so now it is available you can go to the google drive beforehand i will show you the google drive now what you need to do share click this triple dot share so now click this share further anyone can come and say look at whether you want to share with your organization in house people or anyone with this link anyone with this link viewer commenter or editor then copy the link share with anyone that's all so they can also come and collaborate improvise your um, drawing these are all the benefits it is one of the collaborative cloud platform software so with that i'm concluding today's session thank you for watching stay tuned for future videos